Hi, this is Alex Forster of Floats and Frames Limited, and this is a quick um, introduction to our floating home pontoon modular system. So normally when a client's looking to um, create a houseboat, an Airbnb pod, a lake house, a full liverboard um, floating home, uh, the process would involve deciding what the viable beam and length of the pontoon They'd be able to fit in their mooring or to be navigable down waterways in their location or appropriate to the sighting of the boat in question. Then we'd look at the uh, potential loading of that boat where we might need more closely together um, floats adding per module to achieve a greater sort of buoyancy density, if you like. Or maybe there will only be a light cabin on top which where you could uh, save costs and have greater spanning between the floats. All of our module types are customizable and uh, the way they would work, this is a catamaran module, is the aluminium frame would slot over the two floats and sit in its uh, shoulder channel, then be bolted through um, holes in the aluminium frame into captive M10 bushings in the upstands of the floats, uh, then launched off a riverbank or slipped way at a marina, the bottom of the client's garden, potentially for smaller ones, um, then repeated and connected together in the water. Uh, there is, now using this system, there is only 100 mil of face to face connection on the steel. Uh, aluminium as we more commonly use so it does rely on adding vertebral stiffness via an anticipated cabin by raising the z-axis it's often very simply achieved this can be um, increased or decreased in the beam again as mentioned to suit the loading requirements um, or we could move into a trimaran frame uh, these so as standard and priced in our catalog are at 3.5 meter beam which is commonly workable for inland waterways um, but could be stretched up to potentially four or five meters um, for very light loading uh, and then all the way up through podmorans pentamorans hexamorans, heptamorans, octamorans and nonamorans. Um, also some of these frames are used individually, particularly the bigger ones for uh, raft solutions, pontoons and decks, although we do have a bespoke system to suit that also. Um, for smaller and more like Airbnb pod um, type arrangements, we often use single piece frames so rather than having modular connections between um, three floats or the like uh, these come with a single piece of aluminium framing which sorts out any difficulty between those um, small uh, connection points between the modules and also in these sizings are normally transportable fairly comfortably so the single piece frames we offer are a, what we call a splayed catamaran, where in this case, the floats are actually separated slightly. This does save on costs, um, but does introduce, because you won't have as much buoyancy, you have unsupported spanning between those, so aren't perfect for every solution. A light cabin, something like that would work. A spanning trimaran, which has superior buoyancy, a bigger footprint um, and beam, but has similar things to think about. Um, and then our most commonly used um, Airbnb, small accommodation pod, pontoons, a single piece catamaran with an unbroken row of three floats at around 7.4 meters long. This normally would be a 2.8 meter beam um, we commonly do it at 2.5 as well or um, our, our most popular of all are 7.35 uh, 7.4 sorry by uh, 3.5 meter trimaran single frame which is perfect for um, 
reasonable sized accommodation pods, um, Airbnb setups, um, perfectly workable as a liveaboard solution as well. So from us, you would receive your choice of aluminium framing, the appropriate number of floats, all fixings and um, um, connection points. And then it would be up to you to put on the cabin of your choice. Commonly used um, th themes are shipping containers, home-built timber cabins, the sort of equivalent of garden rooms put on. Uh, and we've had all sorts of grand and wonderfully imaginative finishes. Give us a shout if we can help you with anything further. I hope that helped.